Hey, everybody. Um, welcome, Ryan Malo from CFIB. CFIB is Canadian Federation of Independent Business. Ryan is Director of Pro Provincial uh, Affairs for Ontario. Ryan, thank you for joining us today. I appreciate that. How are you? Thanks for having me. I'm, I'm doing well. Safe and inside, but doing well. Yeah, that's awesome. Listen, I think, I think the, the members in this group, Support Local Business, could really, really benefit from learning a little bit about what you guys do. Um, and perhaps they might think of, you know, now joining this organization. Tell us a little bit about CFIB and, and, and what it does for local business. Sure. So the CFIB is the Canadian Federation of Independent Business, and we were founded about 50 years ago uh, to be the big voice for small business. We found that uh, at the government level, small business owners uh, don't really have the, the time to be lobbying their governments, but they certainly have a lot of issues that they want to make sure their government's here. So we operate on three main pillars. Uh, the first one is advocacy. Uh, we lobby the federal government, the provincial government, and even your municipal governments uh, on the issues that you care about from taxes and regulation to uh, new policies and zoning. Uh, the second one is savings programs. Because we have 110,000 members, we're able to leverage that collectively uh, to get some savings benefits that we pass on to membership. Things like uh, banking, reduced banking fees with Scotiabank, uh, reduce credit card processing fees through Chase Payment Tech and things like that. And then the third one, which we think is incredibly important at a time like COVID, is what we call our business resources line. And that's a line that uh, any member can call in and ask any business question under the sun from uh, I'm having a, a difficult time with the termination to uh, I'm having trouble navigating the CRA, how do they do that? And during COVID, we've actually opened that up beyond membership to non-members so that any business in Canada uh, can call in to ask their questions, whether it's how to deal with layoffs to uh, how do I qualify for the wage subsidy program. And you were, and you were telling me an interesting stat. Um, maybe you can go back into that about prior to COVID, you were getting about 80 calls per day. Yep. Now That's right. during COVID, it's how many? Yeah, so, so we went from 80 calls a day uh, with a staff of about 30 people handling that across the country to uh, we're up to hitting about 1,000 calls a day now, uh, and that staff has expanded to about 90 people across the country answering questions in real time. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Um, I was at your website last night and this morning, and there's a lot of great resources on there, a lot of great programs. What would you suggest in the times that we're in, what would you suggest a business owner should start with? as far as <clears throat> some of the resources on your site? So I think the main one that we're, the one that we're hearing most about from business owners is, is what programs do I qualify for and how do I find out if we qualify? Um, we know that the government also has a lot of good information on this, but sometimes it can be hard to find uh, or hard to find the most up-to-date version as things change day to day. So we uh, update our website regularly. As soon as we get confirmed information from government, the website is updated. So I'd recommend starting there, uh, cfib.ca, right there on the front page, um, what is the federal government doing to support small businesses? Uh, and it has a breakdown of everything from the uh, Canada Emergency Business Account, that's the $40,000 loan program, to the wage subsidy, to the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, which is the, the $2,000 a month for those who aren't uh, making any money or making very little money. Um, so we walk you through who's eligible, how do you be eligible. We provide the links uh, to get you to the application portals. Um, and then you can go from there. Uh, and then once you understand the federal side of it, we then provide a breakdown in every province across the country of what provincial governments are offering in support as well. That's incredible. Um, so resources, programs. So cost of membership for CFIB. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so usually we look at a, a baseline cost, and I believe it's around $300 uh, plus a fee per employee. Um, so it, it gets, the fee goes up, the more employees you have, but for the smaller businesses, it becomes quite manageable. But I will note that we have received such an outpouring from, uh, non-members during, uh, the, the COVID crisis and so many questions from them that we are extending a, uh, free introductory membership, uh, to all, uh, Canadian small business owners across the country. So that's wow. three months of, uh, full access to CFIB's programs. Again, you can call in that hotline. We'll continue to advocate on your behalf. You'll start seeing some of our, uh, our survey content because we are one member, one vote, and we do take our positions based on what our members want. So, you know, you don't like the, the uh, loan eligibility requirements, we will fight for you. Um, you don't think you qualify for the wage subsidy, we will fight to get you included. 
Um, but it, we really encourage people to take a look because right now, uh, again, we know everyone has questions. We know it's, it's confusing. There's a lot of information flying around and we can help sort that out for you. That's awesome. So is there a minimum, like if I'm a sole proprietor, can I also join or do I, or do I need to have several employees? So, so a sole proprietor, absolutely. We've got lots of members who are in that position and we do know that uh, sole proprietors are being a little bit left out right now when it comes to the federal programs. We are pushing very hard for that. Um, also for family run businesses where your family members are your employees, some programs have some question marks in that area. We are fighting for that as well. Um, but any, the only uh, requirements to join is you have to be uh, independently and Canadian owned and operated. So we don't deal with businesses that trade on the stock market. Um, but otherwise, from one all the way up to, you know, 499 employees, um, and in a couple cases, even some of the, the larger independents. Um, but, you know, we stand up for independent business. And if you're independent and Canadian owned, we'll represent you. Well, that, that's awesome. Um, there's so much misinformation out there. So this is, a, this is a site where you can get the facts or you can pick up a phone and speak to somebody and get the facts. Uh, that, that's a tremendous relief for small business. Because like you said, they don't even sometimes know where to go get this information that's correct. And they're scrambling, right? I've had many of these interviews where they just don't know. And uh, it's great that you guys have that uh, product and service available um, to Canadian small business. So that's awesome. Is there anything else that you want to specifically talk about um, for this morning? Well, I just, I mean, I, I, to, to any small business owner who's out there watching, I mean, we, we know this is incredibly tough. I mean, again, we do uh, take these phone calls live and a lot of the, the, a lot of what we're hearing is, is difficult to hear. And, and we know you've got concerns and I just encourage everyone to, to reach out and tell us what those are. I mean, we've been hearing issues on Ontario's essential businesses list. Uh, so we're pushing for that. We've been hearing issues again on, on program eligibility. So we're pushing to expand that. Um, rent uh, relief is a major one for Ontario uh, yeah. commercial renters. We're pushing hard for that. But the more that we hear from you and the more that we're able to share the stories that we're collecting in one place for government and saying, you know, this is the real impact on having on the ground, the more effective that we're able to be on your behalf. So please uh, don't be shy. Uh, please feel free to, to reach out and, and uh, try out our, our services. And uh, again, hopefully it'll, it'll work for you. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I'll put the link to the website down below um, and that's the best place for them to reach you. There's a contact number in there. There's ways yep. for them to probably email you as well. Yep. Um, and there's information on there for membership benefits and pricing and all of that. So um, Ryan, I can't thank you enough for coming on. Greatly appreciate all the efforts you and your organization are doing for small business. We need you. Um, so, so thank you. Really appreciate hey, that. Thanks for so much for having me. Everybody stay safe out there and then, you know, keep fighting. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll talk again. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.